Hi, I'm Mark Tackner here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm sitting here today with Tom McClintock with the Relationship Martech. He is my social media consultant, and today was our first meet, our second meeting. I'm sorry that we wrapped up. To talk about different things that we need to do to really boost the uh, the websites, the Facebook page, my MitzvahProductions.com page, YouTube, all of that stuff and wrap it out and be able to send it off to the masses. And Tom wanted to talk a little bit about social media and give you all a couple tips. So take it away, Tom. Well, thanks, Mark. And it's great to be here in your control center. Um, I think my first tip would be that if you're going to do really good content marketing, you need to have way more computers than this, not just four or six, but 20. And so you can go around the desk and do that. No, no, no. You don't need that many computers, but what you need is a regular daily rhythm. In each point, whatever job we have, we always encounter an interesting nugget, interesting facts, things that other people outside our fields you know, wouldn't be aware of and aren't ever going to really stumble across it. And it's great to get that information out. It may be as small as a tweet. It may be a little larger, like a Facebook post. It may be still larger, like a blog post or even a website page or a video or uh, any number of different formats. But it's interesting stuff. And so they have to be aware of what are the barriers that stop us from getting those out. And one is not having a social media culture, not thinking about it, not saying, oh, that's a good thought. I should write that down. Because that's what the internet is. It's a, it's a big database of written down and videotaped and recorded thoughts that are interesting to people. And any one thought by, by itself may not be all that important. But if you use the database and that power to string them together, mm -hmm. it can move mountains. And that's what we're seeing with the internet. So as you go about your day, make sure you have a social media culture have what I call a social media browser set up. So what's a browser that you like to use a lot? Uh, I've always been a big fan of Internet Explorer. Oh, wow. I know some people <laughs> like Firefox, I know, and Google Chrome, but uh, I've always sort of relied on Internet Explorer. Okay. Uh, well, I would, have you considered Edge? Edge is a little bit better. I haven't even heard of Edge. Oh, it's that's Microsoft's replacement for Internet. Oh, maybe well. that's what I have. It's it's the Microsoft. It's the blue E. That's what. Well, I Well, yeah, it's a different shade of blue. But oh, okay. Edge is Edge is pretty good. I would wean off of Internet Explorer, but nevertheless, <laughs> I don't know. Um, so so let's say that your Microsoft browser is your is your top browser. What's your second favorite browser? Firefox. Firefox. Okay. okay. So take Firefox, and do you know how under options you can set up? your home page for Firefox? Yes. OK, uh -huh. and you know how you can set up multiple tabs and have, have Firefox open up and be open to maybe five different websites? Well, you can do that, and I can show you how to do that in settings. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I hired him. <laughs> so I'll show you how to do that. But then what we should do is set up Twitter as one tab, okay. Facebook as another, YouTube as another, your blog as another, or whatever social media sites you want to really spend a lot of time on. And then anytime you have one of these thoughts, mm -hmm. just hit the Firefox button and make sure, third tip, that you're subscribed to LastPass. Do you know what LastPass is? I don't know what LastPass okay. is. LastPass.com is named that because it's supposed to be the last password you'll ever need. You you enter your login information for these pages, Twitter and Facebook and so forth, into LastPass. And once you do that, every time you hit your Firefox button, okay. it's going to not only open up all of those sites for you, but it's going to automatically log you in. So all you have to do is click that tab for, say, Twitter, if you're just thinking of a good tweet. You're right there, put in the tweet. And then you're done. You don't have to think about it. You know, it's only 140 characters. You can do it in under 30 seconds. Right. And you're getting that constant stream of content out, which is the fourth tip. Make sure that you're constantly adding to the internet database of content. It doesn't have to be a, a lot of qua quantity, but it has to just be frequent quality. Okay. And you can help me do that. I will help you do that. that. 
See, it takes a village. I can't do everything. <laughs> I'm trying. I, I I do a lot, and I but now I'm I'm more managing everything, which is which is nice. Instead of having to be the do it all and do it all right, and do it right. all, which is really you're great. not alone. I'm not alone. <laughs> thank God. Thank goodness. Yes. Was well, there anything else, or uh, I think that that's a good tip for now. And okay. you want me to come up with more stuff? No, I think that was, no, no, no. I don't want to give away that. You know, he has to make a living too. So all this, uh, what he just shared with you is, you know, people pay for it. Like I'm, I pay for it. So, uh, but that's a great tip. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, and uh, if you can share, share. I think there's. I keep hearing about this bell. You're supposed to ring this bell to get notifications every time I put up a video, but I haven't seen the bell. So if you could tell me where that bell is, that would be awesome. So ring the mysterious bell, subscribe to my page if you haven't, share it, and uh, I'll see you next time.